I think I think that we have forgotten about humanness as a society. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So when you really see me in the bathroom, it's because I'm getting ready for work. And then this morning, I felt that it was important that we speak about that whole Will Smith issue. I will do my face um, and get ready to go to work. So let's start off by <laughs> talking about the fact that everybody is saying that um, um, Will Smith was laughing. Will Smith was laughing before um, he got up and he punched. Now, I don't think anybody does not know the story. So I don't even need to recap the story. But I want to point out the fact that there's a clear difference between when somebody is laughing because of an uncomfortable situation or when somebody is laughing because they find a joke was funny. When I when I looked at it and I've looked at that video more than more than ten times, I am not I am not a I am not a what do you call those persons um, body language specialist, but you can tell just by how he's sitting there laughing that it was an uncomfortable situation. Um. All right, so I think that my um, my thoughts on the issue will be a bit unpopular um, because everybody has been going to town on him, on, on Will Smith. Uh, I want to first start off by saying, like everybody, kudos to Chris Rock for handling that situation in a mature manner. Um, do I, do I think that Will Smith could have handled the situation differently? Yes, he could have. He didn't have to punch Chris Rock. Um, am I mad at him? No, I'm not. And here's why. Since. Well, I shouldn't say since, because he's a celebrity. But, si well, I will say since. <laughs> since he and Jada came out about the fact that their marriage has been open and um, divulged certain the, the intricacies of their marriage to the world, Will Smith, ha Will Smith and Jada have been the laughing stock of the entertainment arena and I think that there's only so much one person could take now me personally I don't have to as 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 an as a normal human being I don't have to explain myself to anybody right and there's nobody holding me no great amount of persons holding me accountable for the things that I do. The persons who would hold me accountable for the things that I do would be like family members and close friends, etc. But there's so much pressure when you are a celebrity, when the world is holding you accountable for a lot of things, right? Now, for, for me personally, I felt as though Will Smith and Jada didn't have to tell the world what was happening with them. They chose to and there was backlash because of that right so since they came out and they said that their relationship was um is is an open marriage they've been they've been ridiculed for it right um and like will smith said in his acceptance speech being a part of that of that industry it comes along with accepting the fact that you would be, I guess, the laughing stock, the joke, the jokes on the jokes on them kind of vibe. 
um i think what we as human we forget that celebrities are human beings also with emotions and there's only so much that you could take now here's my issue with that whole chris rock thing right chris rock knows right that black men and women in america struggle to even get through in certain aspects in 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 that industry right in certain aspects uh last the last black person who held i shouldn't say black person but the last black man who held an oscar is denzel washington and how long ago was that i'd have to fact check but i know for a fact that it, it wasn't within the recent times right so that on a night like sunday night when a black brother is nominated for an oscar which is a big accomplishment for black america i feel as though chris rock could have left his scripted jokes about will smith and jada at home and that's my my unpopular opinion like i just feel like and the joke wasn't even but now i personally feel chris rock to be a mediocre comedian right below par so that the joke wasn't even funny and you crack it and then you get punched um to those persons who are saying that um they didn't know that jada had alopecia or whatever the fact of the matter is you don't need to know that you don't need to know that somebody is struggling you you, you try to always be kind if you don't know somebody's situation and you're mean does that is is that an excuse does that give you an excuse for being mean to someone no it does not and let's let's also talk about the fact that this is the Oscars. This was not Chris Rock's show. At the end of the day, Chris Rock could have many many shows laughing at Jada's hair hair can hair and skin condition or whatever. He could he it, the Oscars. I felt was not the time nor the place to do so, especially when somebody of your own race was is nominated for something as big as that. And then to those persons who are saying <laughs> that he could have handled it handled it differently and um if I was in that position I would not have done that. You don't know what you do, fam. You don't know. You really genuinely don't know what, what you would do in a situation like that. So let's stop pretending that um for a moment will smith is not a human being because he's he is very much a human being and a human being with emotions and f looking at it i am thinking there was so much more than just him just getting up and slapping um chris rock like you could tell that that was a breaking point for him he was very emotional right um I was watching something on the talk and these ladies were saying that um you know she's a she's a christian and he didn't even apologize to chris rock when he when he um when he did the apology and a christian should apologize blah 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 let's also remember humanness this thing just happened so and he was still in his feelings right you don't we don't get to dictate when will smith apologizes because to me if will smith had gone up there that same night and said sorry i would have felt that he was not being genuine with his apology you have to take time and sit down and evaluate yourself and and not apologize because the world says that you were wrong but apologize because you truly feel that you were wrong for your actions right so an apology when you're giving an apology it must be 
genuine. It must be at a, out of a self-reflective experience where you understand where you would have gone wrong and, and apologize based on that, right? So for those persons who say that he should have apologized then and whatever, I believe he apologized to the academy because he understood that it was not the time and place to punch anybody, right? That was, and he probably jeopardized his, his, um, uh, ability to maintain the Oscar because because of the fact that he punched, he slapped Chris Rock, right? But to apologize to Chris Rock then and there, I don't feel like, I, I don't feel like it would have really and truly been genuine. It would have been, he would have been doing it uh, for, for the sake of publicity and to save face, as opposed to really and truly feeling sorry about his actions, right? And... He at the end of the day, he apologized. When he apologized, I, I don't feel when he apologized matters. The fact of the matter is, he apologized and everybody could or should move on from, from that situation. Um, I, I don't know. And as, as, as women, I mean, he was in a real damned if you do, damned if you don't situation too. Because I feel as though if, if, if Will Smith did, did not react, if he, if he just sat there and he laughed, right? Everybody would have had negative things to say about him either way. Because he would have said he just sat there and he let Chris, Chris Rock ridicule his wife, blah, 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 blah right and <laughs> it would have been a whole next conversation on the internet the internet is really an unforgiving place and i don't know i just feel like people just need to relax he didn't punch you he didn't slap you so like why <laughs> why are you why are you so invested why are you so invested in in it? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's my unpopular opinion about that whole Chris Rock, Will Smith situation. I did read his apology and I, I feel like that was that was a, one of the most sincere apologies that I've ever seen coming from a celebrity you know they all they always do the most i think when it comes to apologizing for errors or whatever but um i feel like his apology was sincere and it was given in the time that it should have been given not before right um so that's that's one thing. And then that reporter and Tiffany Haddish, I, a costume, really? That's what, that's what you would, she look for the response that she get. Because how are you going to look at the woman? The woman is dressed, dressed to impress and ask the lady, if she changed costumes, <laughs> you look you look for that response because you, you, you didn't make no kind of sense. No kind of sense whatsoever. <sighs> and in other news, I let me give you an update in terms of weight and measurements and stuff i don't like when i come here to do my makeup you know it's always end up seeming like i'm doing taking longer than i really am anyways um i would have weighed 
and I would have lost a total of six pounds between March 1st and now. So that's a good accomplishment for me, I personally believe. And I've made it to 1,200 skips. I haven't been able to exercise. Well, I shouldn't say exercise, but skip recently because I've been having a lot of pains. I guess at old age, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> you see the shade? <laughs> it's it's finished. And um, I'm still <laughs> trying my best to get... Why didn't I... <sighs> to get some juice out of it. And so I have an update that I was kind of skeptical or scared or skeptical to talk about. And I am. Um, I guess for the sake of, of um, what's this thing? I, not, not, I'm not even to say transparency because I, I don't think, I don't think transparency is the right word for that. Um, but I've been going through some things, <laughs> going through some things, um, so a couple of years ago, I would have, um, I would have found a lump in my breast, right? And, um. I went, I got, I, I called my brother, I organized for testing to make sure that, you know, nothing was like severely wrong um, and that the lump wasn't going to be something, a cause for cancer. Um, when I, when I got the test results, it basically, I can't remember what's the name of what's the name of the but it's a cyst right it's a cyst in my breast um and the doctors would have told me that I should um I should come back every year to check on it to make sure everything was okay with it etc um I did not do that I went on living my life like it's golden and I I ignored it now every year I, I tend to do um checks blood checks to make sure everything is okay and i do that because um my mom was diabetic my and hypertensive my dad the, um they both had stroke so you know i am very conscious of that fact and i try to ensure that you know um making 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 sure that i'm okay you know um so this year is no different i think during the covid i during, during the lockdown not during the covid because covid's still here i would have not checked i don't think i can't remember i don't think i did bloods last year or the year before so this year I felt like it was a priority, like I needed to get it done. I organized with my best friend to get it done. And um needless to see uh the results had me a little bit bummed out. Um so my breast tumor markers were high, well are high. And um, I have to go do a mammogram to make sure everything is okay. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to get that done today. I've never done a mammogram. So that's, for me, it's going to be a big deal. 
because I heard that it's painful. It's a painful thing. It's a painful process. Um, so yeah, so that's that's me. That's my situation. And I've spent a lot of time um, just, you know, like feeling um, scared, you know. Well, no, I, okay, let me not, let me rephrase, not scared, but concerned. So, as I, I think I would have indicated in, in a video, a while ago well when i did the um the video on the questions the questions video i would have said that you know like i have this fear of not having dying and not dying not the fear of dying the fear of of dying and not having somebody there for Corinne, like nobody recognizing and stuff so i think that that would have the fact that i it would have like we the fears would have resurfaced um when I got that news and <laughs> the Sunday night when I when I got the news the Sunday night the Sunday night I was okay the Monday after working out I I became very emotional and like I started to like cry uncontrollably i was just praying and asking god like i need to just get a break like why do i have to always be going through the most you know and to be honest you know your thoughts your thoughts can make or break yeah like does true talk no lie you know you how how you view life um like i am i believe i'm genuine generally a positive person like i try to be positive all the time but then humanness and being also being a realist like i see the uh i see both sides of the coin so even though you know you're trying to maintain a positive spirit and what you speak with your mouth is what will be and all that lovely stuff um the realist in me just sometimes gets the better and so I spend a lot of time quarreling with God and telling God, you know, I just, just for once, just one year, yo, <laughs> can I just have, can I just have a break? Can I just live one for one year without problems, without stresses, without having to think things through, like... <laughs> And then I was like, God, why did you give me a brain like my brain, which overanalyzes every single thing on the planet? Why you give me a brain like that and then giving me situations to analyze? Why, why, why you do that? <laughs> yeah. So I am gonna do that mammogram today. Um, I have to get there for. Three. Well, my brother said two. The appointment is three o'clock, but I have to get it. Should get there by two. So I'm going into work. I've taken half the um and they well basically he said to me, my brother, that is, he said, um if if um there's further concern they would they would do an ultrasound. So, kind of hoping that there's no food for concern. That tumor markers were just high because 
because of the cyst because the implications thereafter I don't know what the implications thereafter would be yeah mm. that's that's that let me hear what your thoughts are, are though about that will smith and jada and chris rock situation because i feel like the internet be doing the most and of course many memes have been created already <laughs> so let me hear what your thoughts are on on it like do you think do you think that he was wrong to what extent do you think he was wrong i'm not sh I, I need to see um chris rock's apology i'm not saying that you know two wrongs don't make a right um so i'm not saying that he should have done it I'm just saying that I understood why. Yeah. So I'm gonna speed speed up this part of the video because yeah. And then show your final look. Because the video is already very long. So guys, I did not, I unfortunately did not get to film my final look at home because I was running very late. Um, what ended up happening was that um, I couldn't find the vest that I wanted to wear today. Today being, well, since I have to do the monogram today, I could not, um, I could not wear a dress. I had to wear a shirt and a and a skirt or a shirt and a pants and um, couldn't find the best I was, I was planning to wear at all so that that kept me back um so yeah I didn't I didn't get to film the final look and then I ended up leaving home without putting on with anything on my lip because it was so late but let me see if I could uh, just show you what I decided to wear which I didn't really feel like it, but it is what it is. So, so this is this is the outfit for today. That's the final look. I'm in the office, so I have to wear my mask. But this was the final look. <laughs> and uh, well, you see my face. Well, yeah. So that's it. Bye, guys.